Activity one, the warm up. Uh, you're looking at some spiders. Uh, we have some parents and some offspring, and you are uh, trying to answer two questions. What do you notice about the traits of the offspring compared to the parents, and where do offspring or organisms get their traits? So, if we're trying to compare the parents and the offspring, you're trying to look at the different traits or features or characteristics. So, like I can notice that this parent Otis has some brown in his legs. Uh, and this offspring has some brown. Uh, this parent has like white legs, and I see a lot of white legs. Uh, but color abdomens are different. So this has a purple abdomen, and you see this one as an offspring. But then there's some lines. So all of these things are the different characteristics that you should be noticing. You probably want to notice that the parents are not exactly showing up the same way in the offspring. So the None of the children look exactly like a parent, uh, but they have traits of both parents. Okay. In um, your Amplify, you have some um, you have some simulations from uh, the past, and uh, one of those simulations you can find on the menu to the left um, is the uh, traits and reproduction sim. And it's not something that we use this year. It would have been something that you would have used in elementary if you're using Amplify. But it's a pretty cool uh, example, and that's where these spiders came from. So you can see the parents. Here's Otis and Ann, uh, the ones that were in the last uh, or in your warm up. And uh, we're going to uh, take a look at these and kind of understand a little bit more about uh, where individuals in a population get their traits from using this simulation. Um, so let me switch this over. Um, yesterday uh, you looked at, or maybe the last few days, you looked at, at an article about glowing jellies and protein molecule that leads to the trait. Um, we're going to be begin our lesson today and, and look at another kind of organism and explore a model of how individuals in a population get their traits. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the feature of spider uh, stripe color in a population. So we're looking at the stripes. So we can see some stripes in some of these spiders. Um, so and that's why I selected this sim to have the stripe color. Um, so Otis and uh, Ruby are uh, two different spiders. Um, and uh, we're going to look at their uh, genes for stripe color and how they lead to protein molecules and therefore traits. When we look at their offspring, we see how their traits pass down. So we're going to uh, look at Otis's cells. So I'm going to click on Otis, and we see now uh, here's Otis. Uh, and then we're looking at his cells, the stuff that makes him up, just like we are. Um, so this is a model of his cells. And these pink shapes are the protein molecules. Notice that they fit together with one and the other, uh, and they uh, produce a blue pigment. So when they join together, like this one, you can see some blue pigments popping out. Um, this is how protein molecules lead to the blue stripe trait. Uh, notice his genes. His genes are found on chromosomes and there are two copies for every um, gene. You can see those up here. So we have the chromosomes, these long kind of uh, rod-like structures, and then the genes are part of those chromosomes. Um, so uh, this version of the gene gives the cells the instructions to make a protein molecule that lead to blue pigment. So these right here. So if we look at Ruby, uh, you'll notice uh, that she also has chromosomes and uh, she has them for stripe color. Um, but her copies aren't the same. She has two different versions, a T2 and a T3. Different versions of gene also are called alleles. So a lot of vocabulary here. So we have chromosomes, chromosomes have genes, and then each version of a gene is called an allele. Um, when we look at these different alleles, uh, they give instructions to make proteins that lead to a different color. So now we're not just getting blue, uh, we're also seeing uh, this other color. So the reason why we see the other color is because of this other gene, or other allele, sorry. So the other form of that gene. Um, so we end up with black pigment produced. And the black pigment is mixed with the blue pigment, but when we look at the spider, 
we see the black pigment. It kind of shows up better. So we go back to Otis. Okay, uh, we can um, kind of you know play around with what genes each of these spiders can have. Now in real life, we can't just switch out a gene because every cell has a set of genes uh, or alleles for those genes um, so we can't do this in real life but in a simulation we can so uh, we're going to see what would happen if we changed one of his t2 alleles I click on this and we have some choices t1 t2 or t3 if I change it to t3 what happens now he starts looking like the last spider that we looked at notice that Otis changed from blue to a black abdomen so just one allele change, one gene having a different set of instructions can make something look different and make a trait change. Okay, so if we go back, if we um, combine parents of Otis and Ruby um, and uh, look at it, what kind of offspring uh, do you think, oops, sorry, let me fix Let's fix Otis back up here. So um, the original Otis and the original uh, Ruby, if we look at them as parents, uh, what kind of offspring do you think they would have? So uh, in this simulation, we can produce some reproductive cells and find out. Um, so you can produce offspring and see what happens. And we have that we get some randomization we don't know what's coming from where uh, they kind of split off and then we can look at what the offspring look like so we end up with these two parents having these possible traits for offspring okay so uh, this might help you understand our activities for the rest of the lesson thanks